cataractcoach.com quiz. What is the problem here? If you've done less than a thousand cases, you may be fooled by this case. And early in my career, in my first couple of years, I may have been fooled by this case too. Let me show you. There's the incision. Looks pretty good using a diamond keratome. And you can see we're operating on the steep axis. The little marks that are on the cornea show me the steep axis. So we're going to do a toric lens here. I want to show you the beginning of this case that it's a beautifully normal capsular axis. This is me operating. I've done tens of thousands of cases. So we're very experienced here. But I have recorded this case and I'm presenting it to you because it's a fantastic learning point here. And if you're an experienced surgeon, you'll know when you know. But I want to just show you a few initial steps here to show you that, yes, we have a very nice rexus. There's no issue there. A little bit tough to grab it, but we're getting this. You can see the forcep tips maybe are a little bit bent out of shape. We'll have to fix those. But we'll get a beautiful, nice five to five and a half millimeter capsule rexus. It will go just great. So no issue here at all. Patient's eye is a little dry. You can definitely tell that. A little bit more of an elderly patient than we're used to here. This patient's a nonagenarian, so 90 plus years old. And so there you go. That looks pretty good. I'll tell you the hydrodissection, everything else is going to be the same. Nucleus removal, it's fine. Let's cut to the end of the case here. There we go. Cleaning up the capsule bag. It looks very nice and clean. It's fully intact. The rex is round and intact. We're going to fill the capsule bag up. Watch carefully. Here comes the cohesive viscoelastic. Nice, good fill. Beautifully done. And a perfect rexus. So there is no rexus issue. Zonular support is great. Capsule's intact. Let's even do a little capsule polishing. Not a whole lot of polishing needing to be done here, but there was just something that caught my eye. So we'll do a little capsule polishing. That's pretty good. Let's get the lens in. Single piece acrylic monofocal torque lens being implanted here. Let's deliver it nice and easy, going in the eye. All still looks pretty good. Correct orientation, it's not upside down. And let's get that in the capsule bag. You can see the torque marks on the eye well, the haptic optic junction. Using that spatula, getting that in, and then have that arm open up. And now adjusting it a little bit more. This is using the chopper end of it. And what do you notice? It's in the bag. But look at the right side of the screen. The haptic still touch, uh, attached to the optic, a little adherent there. That's okay. Remove the viscoelastic from behind. And the viscoelastic comes out pretty quickly. Whoa, there you go. I don't want this IO to rotate too Oh, let's let go of the capsule. We don't want to do that. So put that capsule back. And now it looks pretty good, right? Ready to go. No, I know better than that. So I'm going to inflate the eye here with the foot pedal. Go in with the chopper. Because as that last haptic that was stuck to the optic, as it opened up, it opened up now fully. It's in the salt because it's not in the bag. That trailing haptic, that sub-incisional right now, you may think it's fine. It's not. It's not in the bag. And I know it's not in the bag. And so there it is. I'm trying to get it lifted up. Now we can see there's that haptic. That's the issue. But I don't want to misrotate the lens because it's already in a good position. So you see it was just under the iris. That haptic was not in the bag. So now let's get it pushed in there. Let me use that second hand and dial that thing in. I need to make sure that haptic really goes under the rexus in the bag. Now I can push it in with this and now I'm feeling a lot more confident. And you can judge by the, by the position of the capsule rexus over the optic, it's looking good. Now I can get the eye well finally centered up and it will stay beautifully centered and it's definitely both haptics and the optic are completely within the capsule bag for sure. Whereas right after I will deliver, they were not. Here you can see, look at the sub-incisional space. You can see the rexus over the optic. And so fortunately, we are looking good. And that haptic is, the toric marks are pretty well lined up with the cornea. Wow, neat case. So yeah, I caught this obviously. I've done lots and lots of cataract surgeries. But you know what? If you've done less than a thousand cases, you may not have caught that. So I want to show you this video so if you ever see something similar and get a sneaking suspicion, you know to, hey, wait a minute, let's just make sure. Thanks for watching.